What's up, YouTube? It's your Trey Company, guys. To have a great day on the market, guys. We had another crazy day, guys. The market retreats, and we had a red day, and that is really totally fine, guys, because we have to have red days in order to have better green days, right? Market needs to retrace, guys. We've seen this. We have, you know, big earnings. We got a lot of, you know, we got data as well. So it is pretty normal, guys. You got to get used to to ride the red days, right? Remember, that's why it's very important for you guys not to be permeables, right? Not thinking that every single day the market needs to be red. Instead, you know, learn how to capitalize on red days, right? We got many opportunities today. Nonetheless, we ended up green. So they, I have a two setups, really, that we went to shopping today. We actually, you know, got some dips. You know, we started positions, right? This is the times that we want to be ready to buy, right? That is why it's important to always have some cash available and not over leverage yourself onto a position. So then you get stuck, right? Because if you have cash, then days like today, you're going to be able to get those dips, right? You know, put have a better average if you average down, right? Many things that you really can do. Regardless, you know, we have a great day, guys. There's there are setups that pull up today. Again, if you are in the community, you're going to be able to see those setups because we have an active scanner that allow us to see setups that go crazy like today. Again, even though there was a red day and we don't have a lot of setups, we ended up having one setup calling BFRI. It came out on every scan at 10 o'clock. And as you see, he was telling us that the results of the pastry was coming up very positive, right? And BFRI actually, you know, I ended up exploding over 100%. As you can see, guys, from almost one dollar or seventy-nine cents, really, from bottom to two point twenty-one, guys, that was a nice pop from BFRI. So it was almost 120, 140 percent, and that was like you know, really, if you were looking at it and you actually reacted to it based on the confirmations, volume, all those things that you could have done, you could have been capitalized on that one, right? We also have PLBY, another setup that I made, ended up making 60, 70 percent from the bottom to the peak. It ran from pre-market because they got some investment and they were looking to buy. Well, they actually acquired 14.9 million shares at 1.50 per share. And they're actually picking to 146. So pretty much, you know, that that's the average. But that was a great setup if you cut it. All these setups, guys, came out on our scanner, right? So you also want to be a part of the team, guys. We have my trades, guidance, coaching, all the stuff that you want to look for. Again, options today, we literally clutch it. Again, the, the volume rotates. We talked about this before. When... There is a lot of ball up on large caps. Then the small caps tend to not perform as better as you know as as good as they used to, right? That's why when that happens, we have to be able to you know jump in and diversify ourselves. So today, guys, options really crush it. Nonetheless, like I said, we had great setups on small caps as well. So capital lesson those. Uh, let me actually pull up the calendar so you guys are ready for tomorrow. Pretty much the month is over today, right? October is this prime. October is pretty much done. Tomorrow we start in November. And keep in mind, it's going to be end of the week. So I'm expecting, in my opinion, more sell-off, more red, but I could be wrong as well. You know, we can have a technical bounce, right? We can have, you know, like a like a push of the first, you know, opening month. They could be they could happen a lot of things, but it's still, guys, you know, size down, you know, protect your capital. Usually end of the week, especially close to the month, opening the month, it's really not the best way to trade or to even size up. And again, tomorrow, there is a lot more data as well coming up. We got U.S. unemployment, unemployment report. Right, hourly wages, we got PMI, ISA manufacturing, out of sales. So we got a lot of data coming out tomorrow, which is more likely to make the market choppy, right? And so again, size down, protect your capital, guys. It's one of the most important things that we have is our capital, right? But again, I'm just kind of jumping into levels. If you were looking at levels on SPY, guys, you should be able to make a lot of money today, right? Only by following the levels, right in the trend, don't go against it. But again, we capitalize not only on SPY, but we actually bank from media and Tesla as well, because that's, uh, that's what I have. Only my community, right? Levels and trades and setups that I only share on my community. So you want to be part of the team, guys. You know what to do. Join up. The link is in the description for this comment. So you guys can sign up and join the Alpha community. There it is when we have those bangers. But this morning, I told you guys how the gap down was happening. It was looking weak through the data. So we were looking at 576 for calls, 575 for puts. And if you actually go look at the chart, or spy, right? Pretty much market open, and there was no reason for you to believe that it was gonna go up, right? Straying below the the EMAs, that's really the 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 confirmation that you always have to be looking at, right? You got the trends, you got the sellers, because you see how the sellers were increasing, right? And once you broke the level, it was pretty much you know piece of cake. You only have to you know trim your profits, lives on runners. But again, as long as you are below the trend, you can keep riding, and that's what literally we did. You know, from the five seventy five, as you see, guys. I mean, I told my students, right, that we were looking for that S of the 200 May, right? Because it's like a magnet. We talk about this many, many times. 
the 200 EMA, when this when there is a flush down or there is a spike, right? If it is closed, it is more likely to run towards it because it's like a magnet. So that's the 200 EMA today. Spy literally dropped to it. I mean, I alert you guys that it was gonna do that and ended up doing it, touching there. So many, many profits were done to the spy, very easy 200% on those contracts if you actually took them from the break, right? So again, 575 to look to lows of 270, guys. Those are five for dollar drop. Pretty, pretty, pretty uh more than enough. If you actually zoom out, and now this is the thing, right? We actually broke the 200 because we closed in below. So what's gonna happen tomorrow? It's not looking good for the bulls, right? This could be a bigger retracement, possibly, right? On the daily chart, wise, we're actually looking to possible uh you will still have a little more room to go because we have to maybe test the 60 man 566, right? We actually have, we created a gap up, but again, it's tomorrow is going to be the, the last of the week, first day of the month. I'm not expecting, you know, a lot of volatility. I'm not expecting a lot of bottoms. It's hard for me to believe that we're going to have a, a rally or recovery. Again, we might have a technical bounce from the 60 minute, but that's going to be about it, right? So remember, we're going to have to assess this tomorrow, like every day, because again, right now it's, it's below trends. We don't have pretty much clear levels so far. I mean, if it breaks lows, it's going to make new lows. And again, you know where it's actually going to be heading which is going to be to that uh, 566 that we have on the daily chart, right? Now we're actually looking at Tesla. Tesla ended up playing out very nice today, flush down, right? We called that up. And actually, if you see on the market, I actually told my students that I was looking at this potential falling wedge, but also, you know, it was getting pretty, pretty tight. So we were looking to 250 for calls, 254 for puts. And if we go back to the chart, guys, you can see how the market opened. We got a spike, right? Very tricky because that can fix up people, right? This is why we want to wait, you know, between 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, right? For you to see a direction. We had that. We got a drop. We broke the level. You know, we got a bear flag, you know, pretty much forming here. And then a flushing down to 250, guys. Again, from our break, that's, you know, three, four, almost $5, wherever you get in. But that was plenty of profits to be made on Tesla. And again, if you see, right, Tesla actually ended up flushing a little lower, 249s. So things are not looking good for the bulls. If you actually look at a bigger picture, right? We we actually discussed this last night, right? How the sellers were accumulating, and if the if the bars wouldn't bounce from this 20 EMAs, it was gonna keep breaking levels by levels. So right now you can see, guys, the next support for Tesla it is pretty much currently sitting at two two forty seven point sixty four, and the resistance that we have right now on Tesla is sitting at two fifty point forty two. So we're kind of like in between those levels. Right. And again, if the momentum to the downside remains tomorrow, there's a high chance that we can test that support. We can possibly test the 60 at 246. Right. So I'm a little more bearish. But again, there is always going to be a technical bounces. It could be dead cut bounces. Right. So you have to be prepared. And we're going to be going over this tomorrow. So again, that's why guys don't miss it out. Join to the community. So you're going to be able to have these real time alerts, real time guidance. You're going to have the link is in the description, guys. First comment. Keep doing it. Now, jumping on NVIDIA. Right, another stock that it's all about following the levels. Right, today, guys, really, if you went short, you actually make money. If you try to guess the trend, if you if you try to gamble your money, but what calls without even looking or perking the charts, right? That's when you probably you lose money. So learn to you know keep an eye on the chart, learn to read the charts. Right, the charts really gonna tell you the story. So this morning we were testing support. I've been telling my students, you know, what will what, buyers we do if they bounce, they could have break as well. We were looking for one thirty eight for calls. And 136 for puts. And we actually see guys once they crack that, that level that I have for my puts, we ended up flushing down to 132. That's three, four dollar drop from the level. Again, more than enough. You don't have to overtrade, you don't have to be on the stay on the trade for too long, right? Because if you do, you're gonna get chopped out. You're gonna get chopped out and you're gonna lose the profits that you could make on the drop from the level, right? So more than enough, guys. Again, you should be done be in the next, you know, in the first 45 an hour of the day. You should have been done with a good amount of profits if you follow the levels, right? And again, that will be size all their setups. So great day. And actually jumping into the stock, guys, kind of quick of day. You guys know TBGN gas. And this is really the uh the stock that I keep, you know, keeping an eye on it. So this is what happens today. We got a dip, right? And we know how the 60 may tends to be the hell to the treasure, right? We actually dip today. He bounced the four hours, you know, uh it's already showing some weakness on the selling pressure. So tell me that sellers might be leaving. There is a good amount of accumulation in this 247 area to 50 area. And today there was a PR that was dropped, kind of like reinforcing the uh, the you know the partnership that you know has been having with Microsoft. As you see here, you know the expanse of the Microsoft partnership to integrate machine learning to the AI through preclinical process. Now, 
they're definitely looking to this and you know then 10 12 years but on the short term right this could actually have a good impact so we'll see how the things play out guys so far you know the trend is still there we had a setup there daily is still there i think that we actually burst about that that 277 which is the 200 we are more likely to see that three dollars again for like a retest so keep an eye on it could happen tomorrow maybe next week but regardless i'm still keeping an eye on tv again because i did notice as well that the short the cost of water keeps increasing, right? Cost of water is pretty high as well on TBN. I think last time I checked, it was like 400. Now it's almost near six, 700. So, or 600, I believe. So keep an eye on that. That happens that when short getting a stock, right? They're getting greedy there. They're just trying to short this and they're probably going to get caught up with the pants down. So 552, see, right now is a 552.86% cost of world, and it keeps increasing on in the past three months. So keep an eye on TBN, my surprise in the next couple of days. Regardless, it's been paying us so long since the $1 alert that I gave out on the Alpha community. They got us a great retrade. And to end the video, guys, really quick, XPON, guys. I hope you guys make some money in XPON today, right? Not only I was talking about this for several days, guys, but also remember, right? This is why I don't want to miss them out because I alert this on the Alpha community much, much earlier. We've been actually following this, right, a while back. And even this morning, I told them, like, I was buying the dip. I was actually loading up on that 3.93 dip because of why? Because look at that, look at that picture, right? We had this nice uptrend, right? Making higher lows. And now the, that current higher low that we actually make today, that $394 area, it is pretty much the pivot resistance is becoming support, which is great. Because that tells me that if a PR comes, it is more likely for us to spike and break out around five or six, possibly, right? We have a gap to fill on XPON. Uh, if you actually look it up, it's gonna be, it's actually around 6.59, 7.14. So it's pretty nice reward considering that it's a very, you know, thin flow, you know, the four hour uh, celebration seems to be, we, you know, getting weak, telling me that the bars are actually stepping in, right? So we actually start to having this nice setup, possible flag as well in this four hour chart. Are you actually looking, I'm looking at it right now. So it is, you know, setting up pretty nice. Let's see if tomorrow we got this nice PR and we got a nice pop, right? Again, no warranty, guys. Nothing is warranted in the market. It can happen tomorrow. It can happen next week. So remember, swing trades take days, could take weeks, could take months. It's all about sizing properly and sticking to your plan, right? And remember, respect your risk management, respect your risk tolerance, because everybody's going to have different risk. You have to do what is best for your portfolio. Remember, you are the own, you are the CEO of your portfolio, nobody else, right? So anyways, guys, I hope you guys are making some money, right? We got great days so far. I'm going to put a review of, you know, our challenge account so far and I'm, uh, tomorrow more likely. But then, guys, if you guys any questions, let me know. Shoot me, you know, shoot me a message, guys. Talk me in the chat. Again, if you're making some money, don't forget, blow those comments on the guy. Once again, if you want to be part of the team, guys, you know what to do. Join up. The link is in the description, guys. And to remind you guys that we are pretty much two, three days away from the bootcamp. So, again, for those that are coming to Miami, I'll see you guys in Miami. We got a lot of fun to do. We got a lot of learning, a lot of networking to do, right? But we're going to get you guys ready for success all right guys so again if you are really planning to come to the bootcamp don't forget that we have registrations open until uh, uh two days before the event so again if you want to come go to the website we have this again this is happening on monday no no, no but i'm on saturday right next week on the four on the nine right join up if you want to come to the ticket to see us uh you know learn from us but you know the, the link is in the description as well i'm going to put this in the description as well yeah, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, guys. All right, and be safe, take care, and keep, just keep killing. We have one more day to the market. Bye.